Molly, quick last question to you before we were out of time. But I just want to ask you quickly. Uh, 60 Minutes uh, just aired an interview with Marjorie Taylor Greene. Leslie Stahl sat down uh, with the infamous Georgia Congresswoman. Uh, they put out a promotional tweet. I'm not going to play a clip from the show, but they put out a promotional tweet in which they said she isn't afraid to share her opinions, no matter how intense in your face they are. Apparently now, according to our media, being anti-Semitic, being Islamophobic, being a conspiracy theorist is just being intense and in your face, Molly. Unbelievable. And, you know, this is currency. Attention is currency. There are hundreds of members of Congress, all of whom are many of whom are working hard. I'm not going to say all, but many of whom are working hard and doing great stuff. And they would kill for 60 minutes. I mean, and instead, 60 minutes is using that time to elevate someone who we know at best is a bad faith actor and at worst is God knows. All right, guys. So we got to talk about the viral 60 minutes interview between Marjorie Taylor Greene and Leslie Stahl. Now, this interview has liberals trigger all over the place, okay? Because they don't like the fact that 60 minutes decided to platform Marjorie Taylor Greene, right? Because they don't believe that, you know, the mainstream liberal media should talk to anybody outside of Democrats, right? Uh, So somebody like Marjorie Taylor Greene, who they all hate, uh, they're especially upset that they decided to interview her and to actually hear what she had to say right hear what your political opponents have to say which apparently is illegal in 2023 apparently you're not supposed to do that according to liberals uh they decided to do that and boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy uh this interview has some great moments right but the one i really want to talk about the most is the one where marjorie taylor green says the quiet part out loud about the democrat party and their agenda Uh, specifically when it comes to children, which leaves uh, Leslie Stahl in absolute shock. I mean, she's speechless, right? After Marjorie Taylor Greene says the obvious part. It's not even really quiet. It's the obvious part about Democrat Party and their agenda out loud. Take a look. And things she says that are over the top, like... The Democrats are a party of pedophiles. I would definitely say so. They support grooming children. They are not pedophiles. Why would you say that? Democrats su- Democrats support, even Joe Biden, the president himself, supports children being sexualized and having transgender surgeries. Sexualizing children is what pedophiles do to children. Wow. Okay. But my question really is can't you fight for what you believe in without all that name calling and without the personal attacks well i would ask the same question to the other side because all they've done is call me names and insult me nonstop since i've been here leslie they call me racist they call me um uh, uh, anti-semitic which is not true i'm not calling anyone names i'm calling out the truth basically Pedophile, call it what it is. Anyone that she also. <laughs> Boy, wow. <laughs> Leslie Stahl was blown, bruh. She was like, what? Boy, she was speechless, bruh. Wow. Dude, Marjorie Taylor Greene is great, right? Whether you agree or disagree with some of her views, uh, you got to admit, um, her uh, ability or her willingness to not hold back, <laughs> it doesn't matter where she's at. She just says what she thinks, and she really does believe it. Um, again, it's, it's absolutely, uh, it, it's, it's, it's impressive, right? It's very impressive. Uh, it is something I respect. I respect the hell out of the fact that Marjorie Taylor Greene is willing to go on a 60 minutes interview and not pull punches in regards to what she thinks about the Democrat party and their agenda, because this is the type of stuff that quite honestly should be said out loud, right? This is what Republicans should be saying because Democrats don't give a damn. They don't pull punches when it comes to language, which is, uh, exactly the point that Marjorie Taylor Greene was making in the interview, right? Leslie Stahl, oh my God, why are you calling them names? Can you fight for what you want without calling them names? I'm like, Leslie, have you ever asked a Democrat, can they fight for what they want without calling Republicans white supremacists, <laughs> right? Racists, homophobes, transphobes, bigots, science deniers. I mean, that's all the Democrats do is call people names. But again, see, here's the problem with the mainstream little media when it comes to Republicans and Democrats. Republicans have to be above it, right? They hold Republicans to such a high standard, okay? But they hold Democrats to no standard. Democrats have no standard. Democrats can say everything they want. They can call you fascist. They can say you're domestic terrorist. Again, white supremacist. All these names. And they will never get questioned, hey, do you think it's appropriate to be calling your opponents white supremacists? <laughs> right? Well, yeah, because 
the mainstream liberal media agrees with it. But see, when Republicans call the Democrats something that they don't agree with, all of a sudden now it's like, oh my God, you're calling the Democrats mean names. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, that's the type of political discourse that you guys said is totally fine, it's totally okay when Democrats are name calling. All they do is name call. So, you know, I mean, to me, it's just, it's just hilarious. How these people want to act shocked, okay? And they want to act like, oh my God, it's so bad when Republicans get in mud. But again, Democrats, all they do is play in the mud. They play super dirty. I mean, they out here trying to arrest political opponents, right? To try to uh, sway the outcome of elections. Democrats have no standard. And this is why I say Republicans got to start doing the same thing because honestly, you cannot win against these people if you don't get in the mud like that. And calling the Democrats <laughs> what Marjorie Taylor Greene called the Democrats is getting in the mud. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Tell it like it is. Say it like it is. Because uh, the Democrats agree with this far left radical agenda when it comes to gender. Right? They agree with it. They agree with kids being able to talk to uh, teachers about sex. Okay? And, you know, kids getting gender reassignment surgeries and, you know, them uh, being able to go to drag shows. They agree with all that stuff. So, again, if the tables were turned, do you think Democrats will hold back in regards to what they would call Republicans? Okay, with any any issue that Republicans uh, and Democrats disagree on, you think Democrats would be like, nah, I'm not going to use that language. I'm not going to call them the worst of the worst. Of course they would. Of course they would. They already do. <laughs> right? So why can't Republicans, hey, call the Democrats the worst of the worst? Hey, I guess this is pedophilic behavior. Right? <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me for calling it like it is. You guys have been name calling the whole time, right? So, hey, I'm just calling it like it is. I'm telling you, this is what we believe about these Democrats who, again, all support this. They all support uh, this type of stuff that they're pushing on kids. So, hey, it is what it is. Again, you'd be hard pressed to find a Democrat that don't support it. They all support it. So when Marjorie Taylor Greene makes that statement, it should be no surprise. And quite honestly, it needs to be said on the platform like that because liberals don't hear that. Right, they never hear that on a platform like CBS or ABC or whatever. They don't hear that type of stuff. So it's good that Marjorie Taylor Greene went up there and said what had to be said because hopefully it will make some of these people think, "Oh, well, that is questionable behavior, right? Uh, is this something we should be pushing on children?" I'm just saying, liberals don't ever hear anything like that. So that's why I'm glad that Marjorie Taylor Greene said it. So hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.